Okay, so the variables we will be using for this experiment are little r, which is the distance from the center of mass of the toilet paper roll to the end of the hollow space of the toilet paper roll, and big R, which is the distance from the center of mass to the very outside edge of the toilet paper roll, uh, little h, which is the height at which the uh, rotating toilet paper roll will be dropped to contact the ground at the same time as the falling toilet paper, whose height will be represented by a big H. Um, and this, the center of mass, or the moment of inertia of the center of mass is represented by one-half m times little r squared plus big R squared, which was given. Uh, according to the parallel axis theorem, the, the moment of inertia of the entire system is found by adding the uh, moment of inertia of the center of mass uh, plus the mass of the, uh, of the object times the distance between the two parallel axes squared. So using this information, we plug in our variables and find that the moment of inertia of the entire system is one half m little r squared plus three halves m big r squared. So using the equation that net torque is equal to the moment of inertia times alpha or rotational acceleration and the knowledge that the only torque applied on the toilet paper roll is the force of gravity acting on the center of mass of the toilet paper roll, we can say that MGR is equal to our moment of inertia times the uh, rotational acceleration, which is equal to A over R, A being As you can see here, the drop paper towel roll that was not rotating struck the ground slightly earlier than the rotating paper towel roll. This is caused by the fact that the dropped paper towel roll was dropped slightly earlier than the rotating paper towel roll, which caused the slight error which can be attributed to simply human error. 